Hello my friends, I'm Clover and this is the gas puzzle that was originally posted on September 12th, 2024. It's called Fall in Texas and it is a thermo sudoku by Philip Newman. So we have standard sudoku rules, so we're placing the digits 1 through 9 once each in each row, each column, and each outlined 3x3 three three region. And then there are also thermometers in the grid, so along each of these thermometer shapes the digits have to increase, not necessarily consecutively. So for instance, they could be one, three, four, seven, nine, or something along those lines, but they do have to increase starting at the lowest digit in the round bulb and increasing towards the tip at the other end. And that is where we're going to start with this. So the round bulb on this particular thermometer has a five in it. There are only four digits in Sudoku that are larger than five at all, and we have four more cells along the thermometer, so this thermometer has to increase with six, seven, eight, and nine. We've also been given the digit in the bulb on this thermometer. It's not quite as restricted as the other one, so I'm going to do a little pencil marking. So the lowest this could be would be four, five, six, and seven. And then the highest this could be would be nine, so this could also be either eight or nine. This could be seven or eight, this could be six or seven, and this could be five or six. And then we can make some eliminations here. For instance, this can't be a seven because there is a seven in the row already, which means this can't be a six. This can't be a six because there's a six in the row already, so this can't be a seven. And I believe that that's the best that we can do at the moment. So let's take a look at some of the other thermometers. So this one is five cells long. And so the trick that I like to use with something along these lines is you take the number of cells long that your thermometer is and you subtract it from 10. And that tells you how many digits you would need to pencil mark into the thermometer if you were just going to pencil mark it right off the bat without any further information. So for instance, this is a five cell long thermometer. Subtract five from 10. That means we can start out by pencil marking a total of five possible digits into each of the cells. And of course, we're going to make some eliminations pretty quickly, but I just want to show you what that would look like. So here, this can't be six, seven, or eight. So we can eliminate those from that cell. This can't be six, which means this can't be five. This also, of course, can't be six. And that just tells us that that was not necessarily the right place to start pencil marking here because we didn't actually make any eliminations that are going to help us get further in the puzzle. So let's try this one. So this is going to be a little bit more useful. We know that this cell can't be nine. So we're gonna eliminate nine there, which tells us that can't be eight, that can't be seven, that can't be six, and that can't be five. Because we have a six in the region, we can also eliminate sixes from these cells, which means we can get rid of five here and four here. And on top of that, this can't be a three because there's a three in the region. Okay, so that's an interesting start. Let's try pencil marking this. So we're only going to pencil mark four digits into each of these cells because we already have a one, which tells us one can't appear in the bulb. So that can't be one, two, three, four, five. That's gonna be two, three, four, or five. This can't be a six because of the five, six there in that row. This is not going to be a three. And we are going to once again stop there for now. How about we take a look at this? I'm going to pencil mark this in the same way. And finally, we have found the thermo that's going to unlock this. So we have six, seven, eight, and nine in this column. This digit, because it's on the very end of a length five thermo, has to be five, six, seven, eight, or nine. We've eliminated six, seven, eight, and nine, so that's a five, and that resolves the rest of the thermo. Now, because of what we've marked already, the rest of this should be pretty smooth sailing. So. We have a two and four in the region. We can eliminate those here, making this five, which resolves the rest of this thermo. That can no longer be an eight. And we can also eliminate six from this vertical thermo section in column seven. That makes this a five and a four. This can't be five or six, so that's now a seven, eight pair. And this is going to be a one, three, a one, two, three triple. Now, that's not a three because we have a three there. Therefore, that's not a four. It's also not a five because we have a five in the column. And that's going to resolve our seven, eight pair that we've been working with for a little while. 
This can't be a four, and that also can't be a four. So interestingly, we have this kind of cute one, two, three, four, five, where we have the five lowest digits present in column four already. We just need six, seven, eight, and nine. Six and seven can't be in these two cells, so that will be an eight, nine pair. That means six and seven have to occupy these two cells in some order. The seven in the row makes that a six, and that is now a seven. There's only one position left for six in this region, and it is right here. And that will be either eight or nine. These cells will contain four, eight, and nine because that's what's remaining in the column. So that's not going to be a four. Okay, what looks pretty restricted at this point? So we can return to this row for a moment. These cells can't be seven or eight because we did just place those. That means this can't be very high because it can't be higher than the digit past it on the thermometer. So we'll eliminate seven from there. And this also can't be five. That, however, doesn't get any further eliminations. There's a one in this region, so that's going to be a two. And that takes care of the beginning part of this thermo. There's going to be a four in one of these cells because there's nowhere else to put a four in this region. Therefore, that will be a five. And also we could look at that as there's a four, eight, nine triple in the region, and that eliminates four from that cell. Our last digit in the region is going to be a two. We can also eliminate one there. This is probably an unnecessary trick, but I just want to show it to you because it's kind of fun. I don't think it's going to be uh, required in gas very often, if at all. But this is a nice one to keep an eye out for. This cell at this point can only be a two or a three. Therefore, if we were to make this a three on the thermo, it would require this to be a two, and therefore we couldn't place anything at all on that cell. So we do know we can't make that a three which means we can't make that a four, which means we can't make that a five. So that will have to be a nine. So that's kind of a fun way to get that digit out of there. The remaining cells here will be one, two, three, and five in this region. One and five can't go in those cells, so they have to go in these in that order. These will be two and three, and I need four and eight to finish the row. In this row, I still need one, six, and seven. Neither of these can be seven because of the seven in the region. This can't be six because I've already used all of the digits greater than six in the column. So that is going to be a one and a six in that order. And then this will be eight or nine, can't be a four due to the four in row five. So there's my four and there's my eight. And then the last digit in this region is now a three. So if we finish off this thermo that I have highlighted here, in the column, we still need two, four, five, and six. That can't be five, and it also can't be the biggest possible digit because it's along the middle of a thermo. So that's either two or four. So that can't be a two. It also can't be a six because there's a six here. And this also can't be a six because there is a six in the region. So we know where our six is. It can only go in this cell in the column. In this row, row three, because this is starting to look restricted, we need to place a one, a six, and a seven. The six and seven can't go in this cell by Sudoku. So they will go here and here. And this is starting to get somewhat interesting. This digit has to be greater than whatever goes here. It can't be six or seven because those are already in this pair. It can't be nine, so it must be an eight. And that takes care of these eight, nine pairs that we've been looking at for a while. This is just a straight up four, five pair. We can eliminate a four here and a four here, making that a nine. And our two remaining digits in this row will be seven and eight, which can appear in that order. We can eliminate one here because there's a one in this region at this point, making that a one. These will be two, three, four, and five, and we can make some eliminations based on Sudoku. We need to place a nine in the column. It can only go here. And the only remaining digit that can go in this position, because we need a three, four, and five in the column, is a four. Here we have a five in the row. That's now a six, and this is now a one. The six resolves that six, seven pair. Probably could have resolved that a while ago. And here we have a three and a five in the row, so these will become a two and a four. In my column here, I need one, three, and four. Those all resolve by Sudoku. 
I need to place a 2 in this region. That's the only valid position for it. I need a 3 and a 9 to finish all, or the row. And to finish this column, I need a 5. And to finish this one, I need a 7. And that is how you solve Philip Newman's fall in Texas. Unfortunately, I think Philip is probably telegraphing to us that fall in Texas is unpleasantly warm still. So keep your fingers crossed for Philip's air conditioner this year. Um, I've been Clover. If you want to solve this one yourself, the link to solve it is in the description below this video. Hope you enjoyed that. And drop a comment if you got a hat time. The hat times will be in the description. And I will see you again in about three days.